How's it going everyone? This is Javita and today we are looking at release 155 of Boundless. Uh, probably the most notable change here is that they added Roadrunners. As it stands right now, Roadrunners are a rare creature that does not like players. They are extremely shy. Uh, it's hard to get anywhere near these things. Uh, as soon as they detect you, they zip off extremely fast. You can use uh, sneaking to kind of sneak up a little bit closer to them, but there's no way you're going to get within melee range of these guys. Not unless they somehow run into a wall or something. Uh, default sneaking key is C and pretty much your best bet with these guys is to sneak into a decent range and then try to snipe them with the sling bow uh, at least with an iron sling bow it only takes one shot I haven't tried any of the other ones uh, say like a stone or copper I even figures like well why not you can technically grapple players and items and animals so I tried grappling one that got stuck in a corner and really didn't seem to do anything he just ran off anyway <laughs> once he got out of the corner so I wouldn't really call that at least as as of this time a viable way of catching them and if you can hit them with a grappling hook you can probably hit them a lot easier of a sling bow anyway assuming they can only take one hit from just about any sling bow if you do miss these guys, uh, a missed shot in their general vicinity does seem to alert them, so <laughs> I hope you have a pretty good idea of where that arrow is going to land uh, when you're trying to take a shot. Other than that, they changed the behavior of hoppers. I actually have never seen these guys. I'm assuming they live on the more hostile planets. Um, but it's saying here, when they take enough damage, they will no go now go into a ball state. In this state, the hopper can be rolled around and pushed by players or pulled by grappling beams. The hopper will now always explode if it is killed in the hostile state. So run away if you don't want an explosion. If you are quick, you can scare the hopper into a ball before it becomes hostile. Uh, they have also did a little bit more work with trying to fix creatures spawning inside of beacons. Apparently, I guess the algorithm or whatever they were using was using the incorrect Y value, which is the elevation in the game. I know some people in particular have been rather frustrated with not being able to keep animals out of their beacon. The, the next big thing in this patch is they're doing the first pass of grapple variations. Uh, I guess there's a wider range in the different types of grapples and their pros and cons. Uh, sounds like it's mostly with the distance at which you can grapple onto something and then the speed at which you can raise and lower yourself. Uh, they also say that some grapples are hook shots, meaning that when you latch onto something they pull you up until you hit the target you have no control over. Uh, unfortunately I don't have a grapple that has this behavior. Um, currently I only have a copper and iron grapple available. Uh, I have the resources to make a silver one, but I don't know, it takes a long time to craft that stuff. I'm in the process of making it, but it's not going to be done in time for this video. Kind of have mixed feelings about that. If it if it reels you in quickly, which they actually do um, mention here that due to speeds of faster grapples, uh, damage from impacts of the world will be disabled while scrappling. And they make a special note that this is a temporary workaround. This is not going to be a permanent feature of the game. You know, hook shots, if they do it quickly, then I guess they'd be useful as a you know additional form of travel to quickly, you know, it's kind of how the grapples used to work. They'd kind of give you this initial yank and you could actually kind of do a fancy jump and shoot the grapple and it would really yank you forward but you know nine times out of ten you hit the ground or the wall too hard and you ended up taking up taking damage so I didn't really care for it plus it tears up your grapple and yeah what else we got here oh they've added new objectives so there's kind of more tutorial like objectives in the game that explains how to build a furnace and a workbench as well as collecting uh, basic resources it looks like you know as far as mining crafting and building uh, 
I believe there's now objectives for tech fragments and getting some type of metal ore. Uh, seemed like there was something else. I logged into the game and it started popping up that you know I completed a bunch of these objectives. So unfortunately, I couldn't go through them and experience them the way they were meant to be experienced. But so if you're a new player, you can expect a little bit more relevant information and in getting started in this game. Kind of some minor additions that they've added. Now when you use the debug menu, there is a um, version of it that has just the debugging mode without the user interface. Uh, I, I noticed I had some issues where I'm trying to read the debug information and it was being projected on top of the HUD and you, you know, like the objectives for instance, and it really couldn't read what the, the debug menu is trying to tell you. So if you're not familiar with the debug menu, I believe it's period, it's either period or comma. I'm pretty sure it's period. Uh, it's one of the two, but you hit it and you'll cycle through a bunch of different modes, including one with no user interface. So if you're making like a screenshot, you can get a good screenshot without the user interface being in the way, um, as well as the debug information. Which debug menu is pretty cool. It's the closest thing you have to like player list of seeing who's logged on a given world. So there's some pretty useful information in there. They updated player HUD damage indicators. I really didn't notice this. Anyway, wasn't a whole lot to really show off in this patch. So I think I'll kind of show you what I'm will eventually be working on. At Solum, there's now a new township. Uh, it's called. I believe it's called Dragon's Watch, and it's coming, it's shaping up pretty decently so far. Uh, I was hoping to actually have already built something, but I don't know, with kids being sick and everything, I just haven't been able to get around to it. Uh, I might do a video on whatever I plan on building there, or as I'm building it, I really don't know. Um, so I guess let me all know what you think. Anyway. This was Javita. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please like it. If there's anything you didn't like, please let me know down in the comments. And if you want to see more videos like this, subscribe. Until next time, peace.